We made it, you guys. We survived Winter Storm Yuri. Oh. Hey guys, happy Monday. My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I am bringing to you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan that I share every Monday here on the channel. And today's grocery haul was kind of just a filler, little extra, a few items to share some future videos with you guys because a lot of our menu is being carried over from last week. So we did get hit with Winter Storm Yuri, which I think was the largest impact in our area in over 75 or 76 years, I think that they said. And even what we had happen to us wasn't nearly as bad as what has happened to others. So we did lose heat for two days, but we have a home warranty on our home that we took out when we first bought the house so we were able to just call upon them and they were able to get a heating person here to fix our heat and that was perfect timing because we got it fixed on Friday before Valentine's Day and then the snow came on Valentine's Day into that following Monday and then that next week was just an absolute disaster. We lost water first thing on Monday morning and we didn't regain back water until I think late Friday evening we finally got water back. So it has been crazy this past weekend just trying to catch up on everything, the whole house, everybody in the house needed to get squeaky clean from people down to dogs down to the house. So it has definitely been an exhausting week and today I literally had just had enough Enough. I just there was no energy left in me after everything we had been through this week just trying to survive without water you don't realize how appreciative that you are for these smallest things like water to flush the toilet to wash your hands to be able to shower or even put a pot of pasta onto the stove like we were melting snow from outside on our stove and then pouring it into the tub in order to flush the toilet so it was just a long and exhausting week and this morning i just had enough. I was going to go to Trader Joe's, but everything I had been hearing, everybody in our area is out of everything. There is no eggs, there's no water, there's no milk, there's no bread, there's no juice, and it's because trucks just couldn't get in here. The roads were just too bad, and there was nobody getting in here to be able to deliver. Gas stations are out of gas. It's almost like having a hurricane here. It literally devastated the state, and like I said, everything that happened to us, and we're not even nearly half as bad. I mean, my heart goes out to all those people who suffered way worse than we did. I've been brought to tears several times seeing people's houses caving in from the weight of snow and ice. It has been, it really has been a crazy week, but like I said, we consider ourselves extremely lucky. We did make it, but I was super exhausted. So I put Trader Joe's aside. I didn't even want to drive there if they weren't going to have any groceries. I didn't even feel like I couldn't get a grocery time delivery slot. I couldn't get a pickup slot, nothing. So I was actually just going to skip. Like I said, a lot of our meals were carried over. I did have a small grocery list that was going for some things that we needed. And Paul went out to run some errands of his own today. And he ended up just trying to track down the items that I had listed on the fridge. So I'm super appreciative of that. He did go to Walmart and was able to score some things and then he had to go into HEB to score the other half of the list that he could not get at Walmart. So I'm going to take you down to my counter. I'll share with you what he grabbed from Walmart, what he grabbed from HEB, and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. Okay, you guys, so here it is, my super small grocery haul that you can clearly tell a man went and shopped for, but I am super grateful for the groceries nonetheless. So he did go ahead and pick up some of the Stonyfield Organic Kids Yogurt. They had no pouches, but it's fine because the kids have been adjusting quite well to just the regular containers. So this is the strawberry banana flavor. So the kids will be happy to have some yogurt. They haven't had any in just a little bit. We did get the two pound thing of strawberries. I just wrote strawberries on the list. I didn't even expect him to get the two pound container. So that's great because my kids definitely enjoy the fruit. 
He said the lettuce was very, very scarce. So I had just wrote romaine on the list. I usually get like the three romaine hearts in the package, but all he was able to find was the mini romaine in the two heads, but that's fine. This is the one that um, is like non-GMO. It's all sustainably grown in like a greenhouse and stuff. So it's still better quality than what I normally buy. So we'll definitely take, you know, the better lettuce. So this was some of the exciting Ibotta rebates that we were able to score and it's in the cereal. I don't normally buy cereal like this. Every once in a while I did buy like Captain Crunch and like the holiday flavors of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch during Christmas time. But being that this was an Ibotta rebate, I know that Mason would freak over the Pokemon cereal and he screamed as loud as he could when he saw this come out of the bag. So I knew he was gonna be super excited about that and there was a rebate on that. And then you guys have been blowing up the comments over the Dunkaroos cereal. Ever since I bought the Dunkaroos, I scored that time in Sam's and then I found the little individual packages at Walmart. You guys have been screaming about the Dunkaroos and telling me that there was cereal. So I've been on the hunt for it. And then when I saw a rebate on I bought it, it just kind of like forced the hand. So a dollar, we only paid $2.46 for that big family size box of the Dunkaroos cereal. So I mean, that is just such a good deal and the kids are going to enjoy them. I know that. Um, I did go ahead and get the colorful peppers. I put the peppers on the list when we do like our steak sandwich this week. Uh, I love to put peppers and onions in there. So we grabbed that and then I just wrote sliced to cheese. I think if he realized he was going to have to go to H-E-B as well, he wouldn't have picked these up because he knows how much I like the boar's head American cheese. But he went to Walmart first and so he just grabbed sliced cheese because at this point you never know what you're going to get at least for this week and so he got the sliced sharp cheddar there's 12 slices of that and then the sliced Swiss cheese and there's 12 slices of it so we not need that for a couple of meals this week and some sandwiches so grabbed that and then I just put apples on the list and he grabbed the three pounds gala apples and he said he really didn't have a very large apple selection as well but as long as Mason has some kind of apple he's generally happy uh, I needed baking powder to share a dessert recipe with you guys plus I was completely out of it anyways so he grabbed this one for me and then here was another I bought a rebate they had the coca-cola with coffee this is a new product out and right now any kind of new product usually I bought it will give you a hundred percent rebate back to try and so this is the dark blend which is going to be like whoa but it's coca-cola with coffee and instead has great coca-cola taste blended with rich luxurious coffee so i don't know about that but i'm definitely willing to give it a try especially since i got paid back for the full price just to try it so it was free anyways to give it a try and coke and coffee sound good to me so i got that um i put daryl's creamer on the list he was had no backup so paul was able to score the great value of french vanilla that daryl really loves and then you can tell when Paul goes shopping because he is seriously a creamer addict. He just loves all the different flavors to go with all the different coffee pods. So if you guys are new or, or if this is the first grocery haul that you're watching, we get coffee pods that are linked in my Amazon store. My Amazon store is in the description box. But if you go on and check, there's the exact links of the mixed varieties of coffee pods that we get. And a bunch of you have tagged me on Instagram and shared with me when you've gotten your box because the coffees are so delicious and there's so many different kinds everything from Guy Fieri to Entenmann's to Green Mountain to just you name it like Cake Boss has his own line of coffee pods it's just insane and we get various different flavors so sometimes certain creamers just go with those flavors and nothing else will go with it without it so he loves to have a wide variety and he said this is all that he was able to score like we like to stay with a broad spectrum of flavors like one chocolate one fruity kind of one like a raspberry or something one peppermint just so it kind of covers everything but he said obviously the choices were limited but what he did find was amazing so he got the vanilla caramel which we've gotten this one before this is the great value but he found the cocoa pebbles this time 
time. And let's stop real quick for a review. We got the Fruity Pebbles last week or the week before. And let me tell you something, it is very, very good. Some said they didn't like it. I heard mixed reviews, but I really, really enjoyed it. It is fruity, but it's kind of like that raspberry chocolate one. So I put it in a chocolate pod and it tasted like a chocolate covered raspberry. It was really delicious. So if you think you would like that, I would try that one, but I didn't know they had a cocoa pebbles. Again, you guys told me in the comments. So when he came back with that, I was like, yes, that's stinking amazing. So he got the cocoa pebbles one and then look what he found. You guys have been tagging me in this creamer for probably a year and I've never ever been able to find it and here it is vanilla cannoli cream latte and there is a cannoli right there on the bottom of that latte holy cow i just i want to make coffee right now just so i can use that creamer because it sounds so so good so i'm super excited about that and then he scored a snickers and an almond joy but we already had a coconut one here i'm surprised he picked that one up but god forbid we run out of creamer so that was his little creamer haul and then Persil. I know I said I wouldn't have Persil in my grocery haul but again you guys in the comments got me so I had mentioned in a video a little while ago that I really am enjoying the amaretto smell of that pure and gentle detergent that I've been using I mean the stuff is free and I probably still have a good year's worth in my house before I even have to reorder and they gave me years beyond that. So I really never have to buy laundry detergent, but someone said to me, hey, if that amaretto scent isn't coming out on your clothes and you loved the way that Persil smelled in your clothes, why don't you do half of that pure and gentle detergent and do half of the Persil. This way you still get a little bit of that scent that you love on your clothes, but you're stretching it a lot further by using all that detergent you have for free. And then this was a $3 rebate on Ibotta. So for eight bucks for me to make this last a really long time, cause this probably lasted about four weeks before. So to last two months on this one bottle, just kind of hitting it off a little bit and topping off each one, I think is a really good idea. So thank you to whoever said that to me because once I saw the rebate, it just forced me to say like, all right, I'm gonna grab some. It's my favorite detergent of all time. Let me just add a little bit to each laundry so we still get the scent, but we'll use the free detergent for bulk, if that makes sense. All right, we've talked so long about detergent and creamer. I don't know why you guys are still here. Um, we got some of the sub rolls, six of these. I wanted the everything bread, but they didn't have it. So instead of doing one large steak sandwich, I'll just do little individual ones. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, tomorrow we're doing quesadillas, and I love to just do a little bit of a crunchy nacho chip next to our quesadillas. We never do rice or anything like that. I just serve nacho chips with salsa or guacamole or something like that alongside of our quesadillas or enchiladas or tacos, anything like that. So just grab the $2 bag. It's $2.29 now. This always used to say $2. I don't know, they're up 29 cents now, but he got this for our chips for the week. So that was it for Walmart and we got $9 back or $8.98 or something like that at Walmart. So that brought this down to under 60 bucks for all of that stuff, which pretty much a lot of that is creamer and detergent. Um, and then here's what he went to H-E-B for. And a lot of this stuff is just stuff to share recipes and stuff with you guys. As he was walking out, he said he saw bagels and he knew that we hadn't have any more. And usually I get the Ellie's bagels from the Dollar Tree, but I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in... All right, I don't want to talk about it long before Christmas. So he saw these and he scooped them up. And these are the H-E-B Bakery Shop pre-sliced bagels. And he got the everything. And then he got the cinnamon raisin. So between those, that'll last a little while for my kiddos. And then, you guys, I have a Pinterest board that is seriously overflowing. It's called Be Still My Heart. And it has all of, like, the sweet treats that I always see. And I know it's not the kind of things that I should be cooking off my Pinterest board 
but I have so many pins and I've just never tried them. And so I have quite a few things in my house that I already had ingredients wise to share some of these recipes with you. And so I'm really excited about it. Like, do you guys like a snowball? Like the chocolate cake with the filling in the middle and then rolled in the coconut? Oh, I love coconut. So I love the snowballs. And I saw a really cool recipe using the rest of the fluff that I already had from sharing a food hack. It's never gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna sit in the cabinet. So when I saw that, oh, you can use brownies. Well, I have the big box mix that we just bought. And then I had the fluff and I was like, oh wow, two more ingredients and poof, I can share how to make these really awesome snowballs at home. So I was like, all right, that's really cool. So we picked up the shredded coconut for that and I'm gonna share with you guys how to make homemade snowballs. So I thought that was really cool, especially since that was a really fun snack for me growing up. And then we have those maraschino cherries that I got for Paul's pineapple upside down cake. I have a half a jar left. We're never going to use them. So I saw a really cool recipe where you take brownies and frosting and you almost make a cake pop consistency and then you wrap it around one of those cherries and dunk it in chocolate and it makes like a cherry bomb. And then I thought about, oh, what if we soaked those cherries in like the cherry noir gray goose or something? That's that black cherry flavored gray goose, or you can do it, you know, obviously without soaking them, or you could jazz it up and do that. I just, I thought that would be super creative. So we got the Hill Country Fair fudge creamy frosting to use for that recipe, and we couldn't find any melting chocolate. So he just grabbed the Nestle Toll House mini morsels, and I'll just melt this in my double boiler for dunking. And then the last recipe that I'm I'm gonna share is I've probably mentioned to you guys a bunch of times that amaretto like the smell of my detergent is like my absolute favorite flavor amaretto and coconut those are like my two ride or dies and so I have a amaretto cupcake it's like an amaretto mini kind of really yummy looking cupcake and I've really wanted to make it for a long time but Vanessa got me those muffin pans for Christmas and so I think I'm just gonna make them muffin style and everyone just get one. This way we don't have a ton of these cupcakes in the house. Everyone just gets one since we're a family of six and it's a six size muffin tray. Maybe I'll just make six of them and then we each get a special treat and then that's it. This way I can share it with you guys the recipe but I don't have to overwhelm my family with all the sweets because this is a whole bunch but I'm excited to share these things. That's probably been sitting on my Pinterest board for like five years now and it's I've never made it so I just kind of got the notion this past week while we were cooped up in the house with no water and not being able to really do much of anything searching through my Pinterest and deciding that I wanted to share some of those things with you guys so that's what the Crisco shortening was for this is the only shortening he can find I've never even really cooked with shortening but that's what the recipe requires so I got that and then got some bananas this is all he was able to find like the least green that he could find and only H-E-B had them and these really really small ones so we'll take whatever we can get another Ibotta rebate they gave me back the full price of this because this is just like the Coca-Cola zero sugar but now Pepsi came out with a zero sugar they even have a wild cherry but he couldn't find that so he just got the regular zero sugar but I got the full price of $1.78 and actually H-E-B had them on sale four for five so we only paid $1.25 but got the full $1.78 back from Ibotta so we made money to try the soda so can't beat that and then he had a coupon for Denerex and so he wanted to grab and try this shampoo for himself so he went and picked that up and that was pretty much half the cost I think it cost him $24.39 I think was his HEB and that was almost 10 so he did a good deal with the rest of the items and then we got the full price back for the soda so can't beat that all right you guys I talked for a really 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 long time for just $80 worth of groceries but I hope you guys enjoyed this semi small grocery haul so now let's get into the meal plan all right you guys so here is the meal plan for Monday February 22nd through Sunday the 28th and so we were supposed to do the chicken marsala shells last week they got pushed off to this week and then I also noticed that you needed regatta cheese well you guys say ricotta but we don't 
have that and we couldn't find it and I didn't realize that you needed it for the recipe no Jill I did not read and I saw that we needed it today and then when Paul went to the store he couldn't find it so now my mushrooms are going to go bad so we're just gonna have plain old regular chicken marsala with a salad just so I don't waste my mushrooms and I'll have to push off trying those chicken marsala stuffed shells for another time which is sad but we will definitely be trying it in the future that's for sure all right for taco tuesday this week we're going to do quesadillas and then we're also going to do that with just those chips and salsa like i said i still have a little bit of guacamole in those little cups and so we'll just do chips and salsa and guacamole and quesadillas on a Wednesday, we had bumped the shepherd's pie. That was the other meal that didn't get made last week. And so I put rolls, comma, salad. Uh, there's only so much salad that I can do this week with the lettuce that we have. I mentioned last week we would be having a lot of salad just because it was things like the shepherd's pie and the chicken marsala and just things that you would put salad on the side of because you wouldn't have any kind of other side dish so i'm not sure yet because of my limited produce what i'll be able to do so i put rolls and or salad and i'll debate when that day comes but hubby loves his shepherd's pie i have a recipe for that i think if i do i'll link it for you guys and then we still have some of that pizza crust left over from a couple weeks ago's grocery haul i bought four pizza crusts we only used two of them and so i have some left over so we're gonna do a taco pizza and a cheeseburger pizza when i'm making ground beef for the shepherd's pie i'm gonna make extra for the next night when we do taco pizza and cheeseburger pizza so everybody should love that and then we're doing bacon cream cheese spaghetti this is a pinterest recipe we've made this before actually my husband made this the last time that we made it and it was so super delicious so i'm gonna make it again maybe i'll film it to share with you guys and then on saturday we're doing chicken cordon bleu i have some ham that we need to use up so we'll have chicken cordon bleu on saturday and we'll do the cracker barrel mac and cheese that i got from sam's club and then lastly on sunday we'll do steak sandwich so on sunday i'll try to do another walmart grocery pickup if i can't get the everything bread then we'll just use those sub rolls that he got and do individual ones and then we'll just do that with some french fries that we already have in the freezer but that is it you guys for this week's grocery haul and meal plan i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you guys are new here i do like i said share a grocery haul and meal plan every monday here on the channel and usually every week it's somewhere new so i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys who is that princess her name is Aurora, and she is the princess from Sleeping Beauty. I heard that. Mm-hmm. And now who else? I see a minion. Snow White. Snow White, right. And these aren't minions. Do you know what these are called? What? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Okay. I don't even know if that's politically correct anymore, but... Oh, there's... there's... There she is again. What's her name? Oh God. Aurora. Aurora. And what's her name? What did I tell you her name was? I Tiana. And the video. Bye. And the video? Yeah. And the video. Bye.